Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn this really plain, ordinary bottle into something like this. And it's totally customizable, it's fun, one of a kind, and it's super easy to make. So here's what you need. To start off, you'll need a big pair of scissors, or if you have some precision scissors, the ones that you know can cut really, really small parts, that's good too. when you're working with those. And next, of course, you're going to be needing some kind of bottle. Also, a paintbrush, some water, and a cup. And the star of this project is Mod Podge. I'm using Heritage Crafter's Choice Mod Podge in gloss, so it's going to have a glossy finish. This is the only one uh, that I can find in Hong Kong, by the way. So. If there's any other crafters out there that know where to get other types of Mod Podge, let me know. You'll also need something to decorate your project with. I have some fabric tape and nail polish here. And you can choose whatever you want, it doesn't matter. This is optional, but um, I use a blow dryer to help speed up my project. And last but not least, a napkin. Alright, so the napkin I'm using is just a regular napkin. You can find it at usually any grocery store or craft store here. The first thing you're going to do is cut out a part that you like of the napkin. So I chose this one. Now, if you look at napkins, you'll see that there's a lot of layers. You only want to take the top layer that has the print. This is really important. You cannot skip this step or it will not work. So go ahead and detach the top layer. Now don't waste this part here, you can use it to dab your brush because um, you don't want it to be too wet. Alright, so now you have your piece, take the cap off your bottle and using your paintbrush, you're going to want to paint on some Mod Podge. Give it a quick layer there. Don't put too much on. Once you've done that, you can put the napkin on and just press it on. And if you notice, I've only done the top, I haven't done the sides yet. So press it on really good and then give it another layer of Mod Podge. Be really gentle, otherwise the paper will tear really easily. And when you're happy with that, use a blow dryer and dry your piece. Alright, so after you've given it a couple coats, it's now time to take your scissors and cut off the excess. Be careful not to rip the paper. I don't recommend doing it until it's fully dried. It doesn't have to be too perfect of a cut, but try to get, get it to a pretty good shape. Sorry, no, it's totally out of the camera there, but it should look a little something like this. And once you're done that, you're going to want to measure the sides using your napkin and then cut it out. Now give the sides a nice thin layer of the Mod Podge. A Mod Podge, that's really hard to say fast. Put the napkin on and repeat the same steps you did previously. Alright, now that you've given it a couple coats of Mod Podge, it's time to cut off the excess here. 
Now, if you see some holes like the one I have here, you can always use a napkin to dab it back on. It doesn't matter. Cut off the rims, give it a final coating of Mod Podge, and remember to get the edges here because they tend to fray really easily. And you'll notice it looks really hard and glossy, this cap. It's starting to look really nice. Alright, when you're done with that, once it's all dried, you can start decorating your cap. Now, I'm going to be using some nail polish because I like it sparkly. You don't have to do that. You can use anything you want, but I'm just using glitter nail polish. So I'm just coating that baby on. pretty much done the cap. If you want, you can accessorize the bottle part of the bottle, the body, I guess that's what it's called. I'm using some fabric tape. Um, I was kind of dumb and I bought this. What fabric tape is really is just double-sided tape with some lace on it. So it's definitely not worth $16 Hong Kong. You can totally make your own. Um, so whatever you're using, just measure out what it is. Cut it and apply. If you don't want the ends of your lace to fray, you can apply some clear nail polish and you're done. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye!